introduced in 1964, had a redesigned instrument panel and center mounted avionics and circuit breakers replacing the electrical fuses that had been in the previous models. A little over 1,200 of that variant were built. The 172F introduced in 1965 had electrically operated flaps to replace the previously lever operated system and improved instrument lighting. 1,400 of those were built. And the 172F also was used by the U.S. Air Force as a primary trainer, and that was used uh, during the 1960s and early 70s as an initial flight screening aircraft in the U.S. Air Force undergraduate pilot training program. After that uh, program, uh, these aircraft were then uh, reassigned to the U.S. Air Force Academy for the cadet pilot indoctrination program. And, uh, and then some of the other ones were distributed to Air Force Aero Clubs. In 1966, the 172G came out. It, uh, the model year um, uh, had a longer, more pointed nose spinner. And uh, ironically enough, it sold for $12,450 in its basic uh, format, basic version. You could get an upgraded one for $13,300. And there were close to 1,500 of those built. The 172H, 1967 model year, had a 60 amp alternator replacing the generator, a rotating beacon replacing the flashing unit, redesigned wheel pants, a shorter stroke nose gear, and that uh, helped to reduce drag and also was an appearance item. A new cowling was used, introducing uh, shock mounts as well. Uh, the transmitter lower uh, noise levels inside the cockpit reduced cowl cracking. The electric stall warning horn was replaced by a pneumatic one, and nearly 1,600 of those were built. And these model years uh, went right along, and they were they were just uh, updating this airplane on a regular basis. The 172i, 1968 model. And that was the first start of the Lycoming powered 172s. And it had an O320E2D. It had 150 horsepower, a five horsepower increase from all previous models. And um, that increase resulted in an optimal cruise of 130 miles an hour. There was really no change at the sea level rate of climb, which at that time was 640 feet per minute. And the standard and deluxe Skyhawk models were no longer powered by different engines. So the uh, 172i introduced the first standard T instrument panel arrangement as well.